This is the most Nicolas Cage movie since the last Nicolas Cage movie after the other Nicolas Cage movie. Like, Nicolas Cage just don't miss. This motherfucker don't miss. So Dream Scenario is a brand new comedy film directed by Christopher Borgley, and it stars Nicolas Cage, Julian Nicholson, Tim Meadows, and Michael Sarah. A family man named Paul Matthews finds his life turned upside down when millions of strangers suddenly start seeing him in their dreams. When his nighttime appearances take a nightmarish turn, Paul is forced to navigate his newfound stardom. When I first found out that Nicolas Cage was doing a movie with A24, I was immediately sold, because when you take the unbearable weight of massive talent that Nicolas Cage is, and that you merge that with the artistic and creative nature of A24, you are bound to get something special. And this movie is a match made in heaven. Nicolas Cage, man, like, the guy is a national treasure. The guy has such a unique, loud, and humorous aura to him that even when he's playing as himself, he still brings in some level of versatility to his roles. This man can range from a treasure hunter to a blood fuel rage man out for vengeance, to Spider-Man, and audiences will immediately be in awe and talk about his performance for weeks. In Dream Scenario, he plays a family man who is a marine, I'm sorry, not a marine, an evolutionary biology professor, and he just wants to be recognized for his work. And to no one's surprise, he was incredible. His convincing performance in playing a somewhat quirky yet charming everyday man whose immediate rise and fall to fame breaks him down as the days goes on was just astonishing and you actually feel bad for the character with everything that he's going through. To me, this is one of those roles in which I couldn't see nobody else doing. Like, Nick Cage was absolutely perfect for the role. And even if they did cast someone else for the part... I don't think the delivery would have hit as hard or hit as well as compared to Nick Cage's delivery. The moral of all this is that when you're in doubt, call Nick Cage. The comedy in here was perfectly timed and well written. So I saw this movie at a sold out early screening and I think the audience's reaction and their engagement boosted up my appreciation for the humor in this film. Along with the film itself, of course. The comedy in here ranges from quick and clever line delivery to, dare I say, a fart joke. Which is wild, because look, I'm just going to be honest with y'all right now, I don't really find fart jokes funny. Like, I feel like they are a cheap and easy way to get a chuckle out of somebody. But in here, with the one fart joke in this movie, it was actually hilarious, because it's such an honest reaction to being in a situation like that. Like, once you see the film, you will know exactly what I am talking about. But overall... Great humor. And the message that this film pushes is how society tries to bring fame onto people over the dumbest, pettiest, or most ignorant things imaginable and try to make a name out of that person over those irrelevant subjects. What's worse is that people who don't want fame are targeted and they are put on a, such a high pedestal over something that society will forget about within a couple of weeks. And to make matters even worse, if that person does reach that level of stardom or fame over that stupid subject, God forbid that they say one tiny little thing or end up in a situation out of their control, they're canceled. Society completely drops them, companies go into panic mode and drop them, and then boom, that's the end of it. Never heard from again. The end. Fin. Kaput. Gone. Like, it's just wild how crazy of an impact cancel culture has, but that is a whole nother can of worms that I'm not even going to get into. The only problem that I have with this movie is that the film doesn't explain why or how these people are seeing Nicolas Cage in their dreams. Like, we see it happening, but the movie doesn't explain how things just go from bad to worse, or why it's even happening in the first place. I guess that will be left up to the audience to speculate? I suppose. In the end, Dream Scenario was kind of how I expected a Nicolas Cage and A24 film to go. Zany, hilarious, and a hell of a trip. And I'm pretty satisfied with what we got. So, plugging Dream Scenario into the rank system, I am placing this one into the pinnacle zone. But yeah, that is pretty much my review for Dream Scenario. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought about Dream Scenario. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What is your favorite Nicolas Cage film? Whatever you thought, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, guys, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you all in the next one. Also, I just realized Dream Scenario is technically not out yet to the public. So when you do see it, let me know what you guys thought.
After working up the nerve, almost equal in size I walked around with the iron for any wrinkle in time I paid a piece of my mind for every nickel and dime But never less than a five and never slept on a job A killer trapped on your squad yet never left the garage When your God was close enough to see the flesh of his eyes Get to the button and press it's what the message advised What's the threat behind a message where the testament lies?